What's up guys, this is Hardy from Digital Painting Studio. Hope you're having a great summer, and today let's start a new challenge all about sharks. Shark week's coming up, one of my favorite parts of summer, like my whole life. So I thought we'd do a challenge in honor of that. Basically just design, draw, paint, whatever. Just the coolest shark you can come up with. This is really close to my heart because sharks were that first thing for me that just grabbed me artistically when I was a kid. I think like kindergarten. Just something about them was other, utterly fascinating. And the more artists I meet and work with, the more I realize that pretty much everybody has that like first thing that just grabbed you. It's often dinosaurs. It could be something from a certain movie. There are a lot of like Nintendo or Sega inspired artists. There's just something that all of us filled up entire sketchbooks full of just this one thing over and over again. And that was sharks for me. I think figuring out that I could memorize a shape and get something that looked like the thing. I remember realizing if you just sort of did this triangular shaped snout, it always looked like a shark. People would be like, wow, that's a good shark. I think that early validation might be part of what got me hooked on all of this. So this is sort of an homage to that. Shark Week was a big deal for me when I was a kid. I mean, loved it. I actually remember once putting a piece of paper on top of the TV screen so that I could exactly trace the shape of a shark, which is crazy because fast forwarding to today, in my 40s now, that is basically early attempts at shape design, kind of recognizing that some kind of a shape was just working. It had that harmony. Much later, I've spent an entire artistic career trying to really define what makes shapes cool, kind of break it up into principles that you can learn and then put back into good use. And that's what I'm doing here. That's, that's kind of how I start most of my designs is just by trying to find those cool shapes that just click and look harmonious and cool, just have dynamism and movement. There aren't many better models in nature than the shark. In fact, that's, that's a good thing we can talk about today is using examples from nature to inform your designs. This is a fundamental skill that concept artists use to create things that have a personality, that evoke something else. So as you can tell already, this is not going to be a normal shark. I have to put on my concept artist hat. I can't just do a normal drawing of a real shark. I have to make it kind of a weird biomechanical shark. Anyway, just trying to do something a little fun and creative just to make this interesting. But it's all based on a very real shark shape, the kind of bullet shape of its whole body. It's kind of like a torpedo. Everything about it is very hydrodynamic so that it can just glide through the water efficiently. It looks cool. And we can use that in all kinds of different ways. You can make a spaceship that evokes a bird. You can do a gun that evokes some other kind of natural shape. All of these things give us cues so that when your viewer looks at this thing, 
Even once you have designed all of the mechanical bits, added the wings and engines and little hoses bringing fuel from one part of the ship to another, it still feels like a bird. We still get that this thing flies, or we still get that this weird swimming robot glides through the water hunting or just sort of cruising like a shark. So it's another expression of that 80-20 rule where we we show our viewer something that is 80% familiar, but then we have that little 20% to kind of make it something else. We we lean on that grounded credibility of these real-world models to make our design feel realistic. So I hope you'll jump in and participate. There will be a link to join the DPS community if you haven't already so that you can get started on your entries. We'll leave this contest open for a month or so and then we'll start voting. Been having a ton of fun of these and the entries just keep getting better. So if we have any other shark fans out there, jump in and please show us what you've got. I'd also love for you guys to tell me in the comments What was your first thing that made you fall in love with art? What was that thing that just captured your imagination when you were a kid? I'd love to hear different stories. It sounds like just about everybody has that one thing, but I want to know what yours is. Can't wait to see what everyone comes up with. Have a great summer, guys. I'm still in the middle of a move this summer, so it'll be a while until I'm set up in my office, but I'll try to keep more content coming out soon. In the meantime, good luck with your artwork. Paint something cool today.